This evening at the Bernabeu as the leaders Real Madrid face. Seeing when you see the size of them, it's uh, yeah, no, it is rapid. Is that what you sense from Carlo Ancelotti's men? I think it's step back for each other ahead of the game, and that was really seen in that uh, in that pre-match embrace that they shared. Aim, and now Vinny taking on Starfell. Looks to trick his way past him, and he wins another corner. And Nico, a very bright start from Real Madrid, and. If there were any concerns lingering following the midweek performance, they've been lifted by the way the team... I mean, there's no Bellingham tonight, that's a threat from attacking set-pieces. The home team, this was an extravagant piece of skill attempted by Vinnie Jr. He's a, a player who generates a, a lot of... ...times now that Celta have been a little bit negative and trying to keep the ball instead of going for it. And that was an opportunity to waste it there from Celta Vigo, streaks and flicks. But here he is in the penalty area, winning another. No, I thought it was going to be a corner, but the referee points for the goal kick. Yeah, I do. I like to see players express themselves. So when he tried that sombrero, Modric with the latest corner, and Rudiger heads down. Vinny follows up and scores at the second attempt. Celta were able to prevent the goal twice, but not thrice, as Vinny follows up and guides it over the line from close range. And for all the pressure that they've exerted in the opening quarter of this game, they deserve the lead. It's come from Vinny. Yes, and an unforgivable, in my, from my perspective, that it's from a set piece. I've already said, Real Madrid don't have an abundance of players over six foot tall. Camavinga won one earlier. Rüdiger clearly wins. That's hugely disappointed from Celta Vigo's point of view. It's a game up now for Real Madrid, so maybe enjoy it and express themselves a little bit more. Here's Vinny, who certainly will enjoy doing that as he whips it up with him. Clips the cross in. Should be the goalkeepers, but not very... do get out there eventually. Was the cross from Vinicius. This should be collected all day long by Vicente Huita. Too far in front of him, but given away back to Vinny. And Rodrigo saved by Guaita. Rodrigo could have let it run for a corner, but wants to keep going himself. He's got Vinny supporting. Laid back, but a... that's the opportunities we saw when Mingueza got caught in possession. Good save from Cueta. Just Rodrigo, Vinny. But now they face themselves under pressure again with Vinny moving inside, looking for Brahim, but Andy. finding Vinny. Camavinga, Verde, Modric looking for Vinny. Being away, you're in agreement with his assessment. Totally, couldn't have put it better. Yep, I think the more determination. And Stel Maria, then Mingueza with a long range effort. It was a hard for And Nico, was there uh, much sign of substitute? Now Vinicius receiving in space and driving away, running at the Celta defence. Still Vinny. Worked across quicker to get there, to try and get on the loose ball. Now Vinny, well, Mingueza with the most obvious yellow card ever, and Vinny throws him to the ground to earn himself a yellow card. Of course, he was right to be I'm, angry, I'm to be sure fouled. I'm not sure that was a foul by Mingueza. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm he didn't joking, take, telling him to, just in case didn't anyone take the shirt off. watching at home that thinks I've lost my mind. Yeah. Of course it was a foul. Yeah, and of course it was a yellow card, but Vinny didn't need to react in no, the way totally. he did. Uh, the, yeah, it's ridiculous. And he got away one midweek in the champion. Moving towards the hour mark now. And here's Vinny going down, getting the free kick from Luca De La Torre, but it's a, he'll run at Starfelt, gives it to Vinny. Back to Brahim. Gets a shot on target, but it was straight at Guaita, who makes his first save of the second half. Vinny charges into Mingueza. He tried to kiss and make place for Brahim to receive. Finds Vinny. Manquillo claiming he won the ball. But the free kick is given. Well, my impression of that was it, it was a clear foul. Tackle from behind. We'll see the replay now. Vinny outside him. Into the area, onto his right foot. And it's another save from Guaita and another fairly comfortable one. It is, yeah. One you'd expect any goalkeeper to make. Onto Brahim and Vinny. Trying to get away from Starfelt. And he does so, but Manquillo. He's there to help out. 
And now Mingetha, slightly risky pass, but welcome to the field for Corsello from the Real Madrid fans, Nico. Yeah, I think the Real Madrid love him. His work was defensively. Here's Vinny trying to run around Nunez. And then somehow keeps it in. Again, twisting and turn it, turning. Nunez got plenty on him there, but no free kicks given. And Nunez helps him to his feet as Vinny looks imploringly at the referee after he didn't get a free kick for this challenge. So you'd really think the Celtic would nail it down and, uh, you know, Matt. Let him have some rest for the final few minutes. Yeah, Strand Larson was 12 years younger than us, but Soon, though. Here's Vinny, the scorer of the opener, driving inside, lovely cross. Oh, and it's 3-0 with an own goal. Carlos Dominguez, I think it was, who had the final touch. Beautiful cross from Vinicius that the Celta defence couldn't deal with. And the goals that have been threatened throughout the game. Match, both teams have made their five substitutions now. It's Vinny Junior, he scored the opener. But the name on everyone's lips at the end of this encounter.